Welcome to Wednesday Night Lights, TFO Week 12. I'm your host, The Raj. Joining me tonight for this all-star panel, we have the TFO Commish and the Cleveland Steamers Titan Bowl champion owner, Ryan Anderson. Good to be here, Raj. Glad to be here. We have the 2014 bad champion, but now he owns the Hollywood Heroes, Clayton Willis. Also, glad to be here. And owner of the Boxhead Capers, and the love of my life, Miss Piggy, owner Anthony Moyer. Howdy, howdy. All right, guys, and we're here today to call the Azrothian Assassins versus the Celestial Defenders, but before we get into the matchup, I thought we could have a nice little pregame talk about, about where we're at in Week 12, what's going on, what's going down, and how, how we're all feeling it, how we're all feeling it. Well, I think so far the season's been going pretty well. Uh, overall, uh, the league as a gen- in total has been far more competitive than it has in recent years. There's a lot more uh, good teams and a lot less really bad teams. Yeah, even the teams that have like not a, a great record, uh, they are still very competitive. They're not losing like mass. I mean, there are blowout games, but even good teams are losing blowout games. It's kind of right, crazy. Right. Yeah, it's been surprising this season, to say the, the least. Like the Whovians game against the Rap Kings last week. Oh, yeah. Who could have predicted that? I mean, I was when I heard that news, oh, man, I was so excited. I made the bed because I knew I was going to get to sleep in it. Uh, but, yeah, she beat her, what, beat Bodenheimer, 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 uh, 24 to 7? Something like Something that. Something like that. So, yeah, that sounds about right. But that seems like the Rap Kings MO this year is they either win great or they lose huge. Absolutely. They're definitely uh, hit or miss. Uh, which, you, I mean, you'll get that with rappers. You know, yeah, they'll, when you shoot that many bullets, you know, you're going to miss a few. Yep, you drop that many albums every once every once in a while, you drop a stinker. Yep. <clears throat> Definitely. Drop it like it's hot. So, uh, well, hey, we're talking about teams and stuff. So, uh, I'm going to name uh, all of the number one teams in each division currently. So, currently in the Bad Snap division, which is the division of the Hollywood Heroes and the Boxhead Capers, Neither of you are in the lead. It is actually the Stellar Offenders. They're 7-3. and three. The Hollywood Heroes are tied with them, but Differential has them in the lead. There's and a lot of football to be played. <laughs> and that's who Belog has predicted to win our division. What, the Stellar? The season. Yeah. Did, did he do a breakdown of the divisions like that? I think early in the season. I, he I know he's I know he's been high on the Meanies owner. So Yeah, very early in the season he did a uh, pretty extensive... Breakdown. Uh, breakdown of everything. I do believe that's who he had winning the division. Well, a team a team that I believe will definitely win their division is the uh, leader right now of the Bad Crackle, which is the Beer Gods. They're eight and two. They're up by two wins, actually. Yeah, best record in the TFO. Uh, they also have one of the highest scoring offenses in the TFO, and they do that year and year again. I mean, they're always in the top. They've always got a hell of an offense. I mean, Beer Gods are they are the shit. It, it's only he only didn't make the playoffs one year. The Beer Gods. That was our first year, 2013. And it was ironic because that is the year Lafindumande was named MVP for the, the bad offense. So if he, if he's not going, Bullshit, by the way. if he's not going to the playoffs, he, he's obviously putting in a good team no matter Absolutely. what. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, number one for the bad pop division is currently the Eight Bit Brigade. They're five and five, but three teams are behind them only one one and two wins a piece they need like that that's way close and that's what i was talking about earlier i mean you've, all the divisions are extremely competitive uh i mean it, it, the we, we when we were talking about the bad snap we've got two teams at 7 and 3 two teams at 6 and 4 uh so i mean they're all contending for those wild card spots too yeah but you know who's not doesn't seem like they're going to be contending for any wild card spots the bad pop because the bad crackle and bad snap, you guys are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 teams that are at least 4 wins. Their division only has 2, and they're both 4 wins. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, I, someone's going to have to win that division to get a spot, it looks like. Alright, number 1 in the mad snap, we got the World's Warriors empowering that tie. 6, 3, and 1. Ties. What, what do you think about Ties. <laughs> They're definitely a really strong team. Um, if they hadn't blocked that pat 
last week, then we would have definitely overtime. gone into overtime. You lost by one, didn't you? Yeah, definitely that was a, that was a close. lost I, by one. I gave, I gave three points. I fucked that up. Venture Industries is right behind them half a game because of that tie. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, mm-hmm. that, I mean, that's real close, too. And I think Venture end up, will probably end up winning that division, to be oh, perfectly honest, because up. of that tie. C- can, you do, can you do your Brock Sampson's impersonation that you did before before we came on the show? <laughs> there we I still think it kind of sounds like Patrick. <laughs> uh, all right, and the Mad Crackle, um, it's the All-American Alcoholics. They're 6-4. and four. Greek Legends are also 6-4, and four, but differential. And uh, Champs Chumps are right behind them, 5-5. Five and five. And the West Coast Guardians are 4-6. and six. So, again, real close. Nobody's really browbeating anybody this year. Yeah, pretty much every division uh, is, is really anyone anyone's to take at this point. And with that Whovian win last week, as Anthony yeah. was mentioning, the Rap Kings actually fell to second in the Mad Pop. So, based on the differential, the South Jersey Slashers are number one, and they have just been looking. Uh, they beat the Beer Gods in week one. And the Beer Gods are the number one team. I think the South Jersey Slashers, there's that, they're that uh, dark horse. Just going to throw in there, the Beer Gods' second loss was, in fact, to the Hollywood yeah. Heroes. <laughs> Michael Myers is in running for the uh, number one running back as yeah. well. Yeah, and he has ran for a 60-40 pass team. They have really got the ball in his hands as yeah. much as humanly possible. He has way more attempts than like, Al Bundy does at this point. Like, just the, the averages. It, it's crazy because I had to go and check and make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be, and it is. so. It just goes to prove no matter how much you run, Michael Myers is always <laughs> right behind <laughs> right you. Right behind you. Well, that's not his music. But, but you know whose music that is? That's Jason Voorhees, and he is, like, an amazing sacker right now. He has ten more sacks than the next, like, sacker. Well, when you got a machete in your hands, I mean, it's pretty easy to get through the line. <laughs> He's also known to throw somebody in a sack and throw it, slam it against a tree for <laughs> <Right>? a while. So <laughs> Just start beating it off the uh, goalpost. <laughs> So uh, out of these teams, I'll, I'll let any of you go ahead and answer this, I guess. Uh, or, or you can pick another team. Who are your guys' picks? You can't pick your own teams. We already said that earlier. But who is your guys' picks for winning winning the Odin Bowl this year? Uh, and a little bit why. And let's try all to pick a different team. So if somebody picks your team, well, that sucks. So. Well, I'll go ahead and start then, I guess. I'll, I'll go with the beer guys. I just pick think the they're a one. solid team. You know, everything that they do is on point. So I think they've got a good chance of finally clinching it. I mean, I think as long as Dumande can stay healthy, but they were even winning when Dumande was out. So, and they they had what their second and third string out as well, which like they they were putting in wide receivers to run, and they were still winning games. Well, they've also got a good you know pass team. So as long as there's some speed there and some agility, they're good to go. Rogue Dead guy, Elliot Ness. Uh, who's the other main wide receiver they got? Uh, Guinness Stout's out there. I think he's a tight end though. I I couldn't so. tell you. But I'm, I'm not yeah. good with beer names. <laughs> Finn I'm, I'm only good with them while I'm drinking. Yeah, I'm yeah Finn Dumonde is the key to that offense, of though. Is is obvious uh, with his with as much rushing as he does and as many tackles as he breaks. He's he's obviously in the running for MVP probably as well. Ooh. Hey, maybe we'll talk about MVPs after. That's a good idea. So, uh, all right, you guys select a team, and why do you think they'll win? You want to see some of these? We got what offenders. 8-Bit Brigade, South Jersey Slashers, All-American Alkies, World Warriors. One thing I'll have to say is that whoever wins the Odin Bowl, they will definitely come from the bad conference. Oh, so you think the champ, you don't think the Mad has a shot to win this? Well, when I look at the the standings and I look at a lot of the stats, uh, basically with the top offenses and yardage being all from the Mad division, they all rely on a lot of broken coverage. Uh, The Mad or the bad uh, just doesn't have defenses that really break down under coverage like that. Uh, the def- the all the good defense teams are on. Well, then on pick the a bad. P- pick a bad team. Offenders or eight bit brigade. Which one has a better shot of winning it? I guess. Uh, I actually would probably go with the offenders <laughs> if I had to choose one. Uh, out of, out of the two. Sorry, Baylog. Uh, but the offenders just have a better chance at it because of that passing offense. Um. They keep getting Darth Maul injured, but with the passing offense that they have, guys like Evil Green Ranger, uh, I forget their other receiver up top. Um, 
Oh yeah, he uh, it's escaping me right now. But yeah, he has a hell of a team. A hell of a yeah, yeah. The uh, passing uh, offense is on. I'm on really point. good with the King Zarkon. He's running back too, and they use him in a pinch, and he works out well. And uh, even their running back, uh, the Sith Lord, Darth uh, Maul. Darth Maul, he catches a lot of passes. He does. Man, I really wish I knew who that other guy was. Up AI Ultron. That's right. It AI Ultron. Ultron. <laughs> I'm Moyer. Did you did you select a team out of that list? Uh. <clears throat> I think it's well this week i'm pretty sure the world's warriors actually are up against venture industries Ooh. so that may be a pivotal game as far as who wins that league it'll the definitely venture be industries game. have definitely been strong with brock samson um that you sliding into the venture industries i'd take the venture industries for winning that division just dependent it may come down on that game but brock samson's been pretty strong um the <clears throat> brothers as wide receivers uh monarchs on defense the it's monarch. overall been pretty strong they, they have they've had a uh, i mean they got hot fast and then they cool i think they went four and oh like right out of the gate and then i think they went four and four and that game is going to be a, a true, uh, really spotlight of a running offense versus a passing offense, too. Yeah. And that's going to really kind of show a bit of a difference there. It will really come down to if the Venture Industries is able to defend against the flea flicker of the world's warriors because we Leonidas yeah. has just been open so often even early on in the season that seemed to be really pivotal and in my game against him last week that seemed to be a really pivotal play just to get the first downs and uh i mean if i had to pick a team i, I guess i go with south jersey slashers they're winning their division right now by the v differential but what really separates it for me is the, the dual threat of the michael myers and the jason Voorhees. The offense and the defense. I think they really got it clicking. I'm I'm really happy for Kyle Chamberlain because uh, he's never made a playoff or anything, and it and look at how solid he's looking this season. So, all right, we just got a couple more minutes. Uh, you brought up a good point here. We talking MVPs. Who do you guys think is MVP? You can pick an offensive person, a defensive person. It don't matter. You know, I'll start off with, in defensive, I'm just going to go with Jason Voorhees. I just was talking about him a moment ago. He has 10 more sacks than the next sacker. That is incredible. He has like 26 or something. So the next person has 16. And that's the kind of performance you'll really need to be an MVP as a defensive player because, uh, you know, defensive players individually just don't get enough credit. No. Um, the offense is so flashy. You know, they get the touchdowns. They get all the splash screens. You know, uh, you, you forget about the defensive players, but that's a good point you bring up. Uh, I, however, am going to move over to the offensive side of the ball, and I don't think it's any surprise that I'm going to choose Al Bundy. Uh, he's what? Been, he's been an incredible force on the field this year. Uh, by far has carried the Hollywood heroes, even, uh, you know, even when the rest of the team hasn't performed as well. As long as he stays healthy. Absolutely. I, well, I, I, uh, to tell you the truth, hey, who came in Roddy Piper, Piper yeah. came in and filled in for him admirably. Uh, right now, Piper's injured too, so we're letting drunk-ass Jim Leahy on the field. But uh, we'll see what uh, happens. Piper comes back this week. so You need to sell Roddy Piper gum, and when you open the wrapper, there's nothing in it. <laughs> that might be an idea for next year. There may be, an, there may be a merchandising opportunity there. And then uh, what about you guys? Any any guys strike you as MVPs this season? I was going to say the same thing Clayton did. You know, I think Al Bundy, he's a hell of a running back. I think he's got a good chance, good shot this year. Well, we'll see if uh, Michael Myers can catch him at least because he's getting close. And you, you got some good running backs, uh, Snake Eyes, Broly, uh, Lafin Dumande even, but he's only in a 60-40, but he still does get a lot of runs off. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting. Michael Myers is getting – Getting close up there with the yardage, but uh, keep in mind, Bundy is also the leading scorer in the TFO, yeah. also ahead of Michael Myers, yeah, but then, by several touchdowns. And, and we don't take the, we're not going to take the fantasy points for Pro Bowl and MVP and stuff like that. I'm going to use the formulas that I used in 2014. I think they're fairer and they give you a better because it also takes into effect like quarterbacks running, absolutely stuff like that. So, um, but what about you, Mr. Moyer? Anybody strike you as an MVP candidate? Well, you mentioned quarterbacks running. Uh, probably Wolverine would get in there as 
an MB MVP for how often he's running. Um, not necessarily that great of a distance, yeah. but it's definitely moving the ball Consistent. down the field. Yeah. Consistent. Uh, he's already broken the uh, quarterback rushing record for uh, yards rushed and attempts. So, and he crushed the attempts by like double already. So, a lot of season ago. Who had that before? Was it Jim Plunkett? Jim, yeah, Jim Plunkett did, and that was that 2014 season where he threw 4,000 yards yeah, and was, was just, just all over the that was that was the year he beat Bonair out for the MVP. Bonair got second in the MVP vote in that year, and yeah, you still you, not so happy. You, about and that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Bo broke all them records, and you were you were not happy about that. Not I, about that I understand that, but you know, <laughs> who got the ring? Yeah. Titan Bowl. So. All right, well, it looks like they're going down there for the coin flip, so let's go down to uh, the field and see the action. Regular week season 12 as Rothian Assassins against the Celestial Defenders here. Let me get seated back in my seat now here. The Defenders win the coin toss. Tails. You like how I put tails in there? And VGV guys were bitching about it all that time. I was like, I'm going to fix that. Yeah. Is there a way to be able to select whether or not to kick off? No, I've, I've actually talked to a few people on the boards about that to see what we can do about it, but uh, it is what it is right now. Oh, nice return there cool by a J great five. return. Getting it past midfield. 45. Was he in Planet Express there? He's at Brannigan. Yeah, unfortunately, Brannigan's in with the big injury to Stampede. Oh, good pass to Man. Lone Star, who breaks Star's some tackles, gets wow. some blocks. Gets wow. Down gets down, down to the one and gets That is his stopped. second pass of the season. His first one was for a touchdown. Not <laughs> so bad. He's 100% right now. Uh oh, looks oh, like he might be about to. Oh, oh, intercepted. oh and it's oh, intercepted. intercepted. It in. Nice he defense. Easily. He could have easily ran he that in. Could've. Wow. He just didn't have the mental acuum of a like a stampede. Vash the stampede. Get well soon, brother. He didn't have Kiff beside him to basically yeah. do it for him. So now the Azerothian offense takes the field here. Going mid. What a throw! Oh, oh, can't oh hold it. Menethil is the ranked 13th quarterback overall this season. He's got 13 passing touchdowns with five interceptions. Oh, oh gets just gets down. it off oh, there. Oh, interception for Doc Manhattan and his blue well. penis. Arthas Menethil has six interceptions. <laughs> and Dr. Manhattan, that's his actually fifth interception of the year. That is nice. the, the, the top of the – actually, I think the top person has five right now. So I think he's number one. Ooh, and a nice blitz Ooh, from the Assassin's. Darius Crowley. Mr. Crowley. I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> That's a good song. That's <laughs> what you should be thinking. Brannigan. Brannigan, <laughs> back to pass again. Ooh, Has forever to throw. Oh, oh, oh. Can't hold it in. Overthrown. The dive just wasn't enough. He needs to be looking for Buzz Lightyear at the top there. Fourth Absolutely. ranked He's wide got receiver. got him open right now. Oh, no. oh, He's going to Bender oh, instead. Oh, not quite to the first. Fourth Going for the field goal. That's going to bring what? Dot Matrix out? That's correct. Yep, there she is. Nice kick. And it's through. Right and we got through the, the first score of the game. Whee! Whee! Shot, 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 shot. And if you're playing at home, it's only a half shot because it's a field goal. Grom Hellscream on the return. Hellscream. Yeah, correct. Hellscream's a hell of a kick returner. He's ranked sixth kick returner overall. Usually has a 20 average, so he got stopped short there. Menethil back to throw. To the top. Windrunner. Like it's open. Picks it oh, up and touchdown. Oh, right there. Wow. They need more of those good passes right there. I mean, their their offense really has been kind of shut out this season. They're ranked 23rd offense, so that was a nice good pass. That's there. surprising. They did so well last year. Yeah, yep. the, the they were a much better wide receiver team last year. Uh, I really just don't. Uh, maybe it's the change in the division because now they're with the beer gods and the weapon X's. Yeah, that division That'll hurt. gets crap. That'll hurt. Crap. Fry back to run it again, doing a better job than Hellscream. Oh, Ooh, and there down he goes. Fry's. That's what happens when you're your own grandpa. Yep. Brittle bones. <laughs> Osteoporosis. Bringing in Barf, who has been a, a, Bog. a Barf. A great backup. You know, we should have a, 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 a Pro Bowl for the backups. 
Or at least have an award for best backup. Be best backups, like maybe each position. That sounds good. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to infer that. Because I, I think there are a lot Lone of backups. Star gets yeah. it through, and he looks like he's got yeah. some pep in his step 50, here. Wow. The 30. The 30 High steps away right. from that tackle. Ten. He's got this. Touchdown. Man, that was a long one, wasn't it? That's Lone Star's 10th touchdown of the season. Impressive. He had almost 700 yards coming into this game. After that run, he definitely has. Uh, he got a boost yards. of confidence with his buddy Mog coming into yeah. the game. Barf. You just like John Candy. Your offense the line is a John Candy. <laughs> no, my offensive line is a few good men. <laughs> it's John Goodman. John Goodman, that's right. Ah, eh, John, John. They have to Ooh, look into Nick Candy on the offensive line next year, Nick though. Nick D. Wolfwood. Who is, do you know who Nick D. Wolfwood is? I, I keep seeing his name. I do not know who Nick D. Wolfwood is. I don't know any of these wild so. characters. I, I don't either. I'm I know there's guy. Zoidberg out there. Well, Nick D. Wolfwood is on the defenders, so he's got to oh. be something from, like, Trigun or something. I got oh, I think he is the guy who carries the cross gun. No, that's in tri Trigun. Oh. So is that not the main no guy? I thought that was... Uh, Either way, the they've done a like good the job. Like preacher the who walks around? Okay, I could buy that. I was oh, thinking wow. Vanish is the main guy. If one. there were any punk oh. blocks in this game, that would surely have been one. Did you see how far he kicked that You punter? can tackle the punter, but you can't block necessarily the block yeah. it. There's not an animation yeah. for it. That's another thing you should look into. Yeah, find an anim animation for that. That'd be cool. My understanding is your pump block points go towards the tackling. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, almost cover. a safety. And then almost an interception as well. The defenders are really being rocked here today. Only up by three. Ooh, and they're going for the pass Brandon again. Back again. Throw it into the Ooh, again. Wow. He's getting rushed. He's getting scared. He's getting his head on. Going for the run. Hand off to Lone Star. He does not get it. Gonna I mean, have to punt this one away. Brannigan's just Let's jumping in. Time out before we punt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want you want to stop that clock before oh, the punt. Yeah. Brannigan's like coming in with some big shoes to fill. Vash was the number five quarterback coming into this week. So that's a quiet number five because you really didn't think of him as far well, as Vash, the top quarterback. Yeah, he's very consistent. And that's that's key, man. You don't have to have lots of yards if you have good consistency. NFL back to Bruce. Oh, he yeah, he always seemed to look screen. into stuff. What's that say again? He always seemed to be smooth and look into stuff. Oh, the Vash, yeah. Vash, yeah. Like he's Greek, like the deaf I Greek guy. A good smooth Vash. <laughs> Vash, Vash. <laughs> oh, keeps it himself. That, that's Benfell. how you. That's a nice run. Someone tell Brain again. That's how a quarterback runs. You'd think Brannigan would be able to run more easily with the dress that he wears. Storm rain. Or the skirt. He's able to get his knees higher. He's used to running away from war, so you think he would be a good He's used to standing on a platform and having Kiff push him <laughs> to give him the effect of running. And to tie it up. Yeah! There yeah. it is. Tie game. 10-10. Ten, ten. I mean, if anybody really knows the Azrothian Assassins, it's the man sitting beside me here, Ryan Anderson. You had to play them in the uh, the bad championship game last year. Yeah, man, that was a close game, a scary game. Was and that overtime? I, I believe it was in the overtime, yeah. But yeah, pulled it off, clinched it. Bob potion number yeah, nine. I mean, they, they've been the a good, plan. solid team last year. I don't know what happened to them this year. I mean, I think one thing that's really hurting them is their defense. The Azrothian defense has had 14 sacks on the season. The defenders have had 32. And the defenders have had six more interceptions than the assassins as well. Defenders kicking off for the second half here. Nice tie game, though. Nice little return past the 20. Who's that, for Hellscream? Yeah, Hellscream. Hell Menethils fakes the handoff. Goes for the pass. Trouble, dumps it off to Fordering. Oh, Ooh, oh, and lucky out of, out of bounds fumble. I believe it's the F-150. Not foddering. It's the Ford F-150. <laughs> yeah, the Ford F-150. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, Millie, Millie Thompson. Thompson. Uh, she's one of the insurance girls from Trigun. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Flo? <laughs> the Ford F-150. Ford F-150. Ford F-150. Hey, you don't watch the Sunday Night Show, it sounds like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> they've, had to, they, the they've had to call a lot of assassin games for some reason. Ooh, and a blitz. Oh, and they're gonna have to kick it. I guess that's because, uh, I mean, the assassins made top four, so I try to give top four teams more exposure, you know? If you do better each season, you deserve more exposure. That's one thing I can give, at least. And the touchback. Touch so now can the defenders overcome this tie? Ooh, Ooh. start off with a blitz. There's a badge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the best kind of badge. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Oh, oh close. Wow. Gets it out. Didn't get Not much further, good but for the defenders on it, this drive. No. The assassins the are definitely off. trying oh, to hold Rannigan's it. Rannigan's got Lightyear up top. Light. Oh, 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 oh and he can't no. so close. Oh. And punting it right another, back. Another another throw that was just fingertips away from being caught because Brandigan does not have that accuracy that's needed. He is not getting paid well. <laughs> and there's the Ford F-150 with its turbo... Ah, uh, nothing. Turbo diesel. It, it got, it got T-boned <laughs> in the intersection. Semi. Boom. Brandigan does usually exaggerate. Hermes Conrad. Conrad. He limboed his way right past that offensive line. Oh, wait. oh, oh, oh Miss Marvel, Marvel on side. the other side. That's her 15th on the that season. Going nowhere but backwards here. This is what they were doing to defenders just a moment ago. Oh, now they got their guy open up top. Looks like they're going middle, though. Oh, down. Faking us all with Storm Rage. Oh, way over. Wednesday night overthrow. Yeah, they touchdown, but here they have to punt it away. Brought to you by a sponsor we never get to show because <laughs> for some reason we no longer have these overthrows. There's Vespa. It's been Funny. quite a defensive third she quarter. Look Druish. Oh my god. Uh, Brannigan with the fake handoff. Oh, oh, he's got somebody open at the bottom, bottom. there. Gamora. Oh, we haven't heard from her too much first today. First down, first catch of the night. <laughs> Going into the fourth quarter. Still tied up. Anybody's game. It's been a very back and forth game here. Lone, Lone Star. Star. Dodging and weaving his way up. through that line. Making plays where it counts. Potentially the best RB2 we've ever had. Yeah. Because we've had the change in the playbook this year to allow the RB2 to have, run them all. Yeah. Well, the reverse to Gamora. To the top. For the first. Oh. oh. Just outside the 10 for the first down. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that, but that's the defender's gimmick. They have all RB2 plays. Like, RB1 never really sees the play. Low star. Man. To Ooh, the top. There's the touchdown. Nice. They just hammered it away there, man. <laughs> it's, it's like they found the... The Achilles heel here of the Assassins. They've been chipping away at them all game, but it seemed like they got a big opening there. Insert WoW reference character here. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> Hell scream back to receive. 20. Good hey, there's return. Good return. Good return. Good return. Oh, oh, and he no. coughs it up out of oh, bounds. Out of bounds. I mean, it's been a tall order for the Assassins today. The defenders are the number two offense and defense coming into this game. Hand off and hell scream. Wow. The for the first and down. Down to the 50. Keep a hold of that ball. You should have left one socket open on that weapon defenders to shove that ball. stop here. Going for down the pass. The run, 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 run. Oh, my God. Oh, Windrunner. In stride. Nice. Nice. Wow. This I, is an important extra point here. Can I, the defenders is. block it, you think? It up. I thought he was going to be sacked like three times there. There were all these guys around him, and then I thought yeah. he was going to run it. Here we go, it. line up. It looked like he here was going to run it. He took it oh. real close. Oh, man, it is good. It looks up and good. We got another right tie game. Yeah. I mean, if we had instant replay, I'd have to go back and see if he went over the line, because, man, I swear that he did. But there are no rules here, here in go. TFO. Barf with the run back. Gets oh, out to the 25, breaks a tackle, and gets another yard or two. It always worries me when a backup's returning because they already don't have good, you know, ball handling as is. Lone Star, Jukin, Jive. Oh, got through where I thought he was going to be. Bobbin, wow. He gets it Lone down the two. field. He's past the secondary. 30. They had to turn on the Jets to catch Great up with him. field position. They had to go into ludicrous speed. 
Can they hold him here for a minute and 30? Just insane. Brannigan back to pass. Oh, he's, he's got, got, got Gamora oh, open. Oh, oh, nice pass block. A lot of Luckily, time they ruled that an incomplete pass. That easily could have been a fumble. A lot of time being wasted. Brannigan back, back open in. on the bottom. Oh, he's going to move up. No Toss it. Oh, Out of bounds. What the hell was that? I Brannigan threw off his wrong foot. That was probably the best pass I've seen of him today. <laughs> That was smart. The player was actually there. He was oh, just out of oh, bounds. Oh, pulled out. Chen stormed up. Comes down uh, to a punt field goal. Field goal. Oh, here we go. Is Dot that, Matrix lines it up. Only a minute left. If they sink this, it's about what a 42-yarder. Oh, oh, oh shanked it. No wow. good. good. Never good. trust a droid to do a man's job. That was close. Whew. And now and they go fake handoff from Menethol. He's going to toss it down. Oh, it oh, gets a tip. pass block. I mean, they still got time here. seconds here. They could get one playoff and get in a field goal range and see if about getting a field Absolutely. goal before time we'll expires. Rap gods here and go for a Hail Mary. Uh, oh, he's no, holding cover. Way too long Yeah. Now. He should have got rid of it when he could have. Oh, oh, we're going to see oh. some overtime here. Ooh, well, well, he's got almost. that timeout. He's got two seconds ah, left. Man. I say he runs it. They've got to cover the pass here. Yeah, you yeah, just run yeah, it. Yeah. You're not close enough for the bomb as far as we're concerned, so. All right, the Woo! almighty coin flip. So this has been a, you know, coming into this is what, a 2-8 and eight Defenders team. win again, the coin flip. 6-3-1. and Ooh, one. That's not good for the Assassins. It's not. I thought this was going to be a blowout. This has been a hell of a game. Yeah, it always sucks when the first team, I'm really looking into, I'd like yeah, there just to be a five-minute overtime. You know what I mean? Not first score wins. It'd be nice. Barf running it back. He looks like he oh, got some pep in his step for overtime, wow. too. Yeah. He definitely Spinning got a condition people. upgrade. He's going. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Already, he was wagging that tail. He was <laughs> gone down the field. Let's see if Lone Star catches some of that. Well, with Brandon oh, they're going to pass it. hang on to it. Interception? No. No, no pass block. block. I would not be trusting Brandigan with the ball. That does not seem smart. Just run the ball. <laughs> when Lone Star is touched it. Uh, there, there we go. go. Look at that. Close to the first. Two yards shy. Oh, They're man. definitely in field goal range yeah, already. Running Lone Star again. Ooh, it's Ooh. close. First, wow. Say. First down. That's big. They can afford to keep going here. Try to win it in style. Yeah, plenty of time. Oh. Ooh, and the blitz. Ooh. Troll Bane, the bane of the defenders. Fifth quarter here. Ran again with the Back ball. Back to pass again. again. Oh, got guy. a guy. Oh, open. Wow. Open. Just don't open it. Oh, oh, yes! yes! Fingertip catch. To infinity and beyond. I, I was afraid he would overthrow it. And overthrowing it was the best thing he could have done there because Buzz Lightyear with the Rockets. Just amazing. That was a heck of a game. That was, was a heck of a game on paper. Like, all these Wednesday Night Light ones, they were looking, like, great on paper, and then you'd watch them and be like, wow, that was, like, not a good game. But this, was on paper, well, looked like a good game at all. The, the passing that game was horrible. pretty horrible. <laughs> horrible. Interception 45 inside. and 33. The defenders really found but, their, their, their surge when they started running them all. Yeah. Yep, Lone Star there for almost 200 yards on Man, just 10 yeah, attempts. Yeah, the Assassins run team away. And, and this is something oh, we were God. talking about earlier. The Assassins, they're 2-9 and nine now. But if you look at all the games they lost, they haven't lost games by much points. This is an overtime loss here. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, the parity this year has just been amazing. If this were hockey, they'd get a point for that, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not, unfortunately. We're going to work on that overtime rule. We'll see what, we'll <laughs> see what we can do. So, well, awesome. Well, this has been a great Wednesday Night Lights, and see you next Tecmo. Yeah. <laughs>